as I suspected, everyone was brought here. Don't act all depressed just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. Do I look depressed to you? There's no way we shouldn't show up when we were told there's a chance to escape. But I think it smells fishy. Really? Does it smell like something fun is going to happen instead? You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks, the key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. I'm right already. So what's this way for getting out of here? Hmm. Is there really a way? Sure. Of course there is! Geniuses like me never make mistakes. Hey. So how are we going to escape? We're going to another world? A world with no killing games and no Monokuma? Huh? This what? sounds crazy. <laughs> what? We're not gonna do that. <laughs> When Shuichi and Kaede bowed to me, it sort of awoke something in me. Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? You want to, you want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Isn't that weird? I think you're weird. Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of crap like you. I stay up all night getting this ready for everyone. What is this? Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. See? You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for it? Please forgive me. So when I said another world, I was talking about this big computer. Huh? There's this device connected to the computer that you put on your hand, your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can go to a world created by a computer program. What? A world created by a computer Go program? Going to understand what you do? X is on that computer box, so we gotta break it open and go in? No, if you try to force your way in, you'll just, just destroy mm. it. Virtual reality? It's more than just virtual reality, it's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. It's the Matrix! I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. Are we really gonna go? No way? I didn't promise you anything, what are you talking about? What's going to happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? So we use avatars as our new bodies to link our consciousness to the virtual world? How do you know this? <laughs> Miyu told me already. I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all of our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um... What you guys are talking about? What's this uh, avatar? Which means... They're characters that will present, represent you while you're in the virtual world. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies. And shove them into avatars inside the virtual world. And then, we'll have new bodies in a new world. A world without murder and Monokuma. But what happens to our real bodies? Your body will basically be asleep for the duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. But we're not actually escaping in real life, though. Am I really that untrustworthy? You'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. Ooh. So an avatar is another body, but I like this one. This body made my soul, and my soul made this body. Which means my body and soul together make me who I am. Separating them is outrageous. It sounds like a Sora Online type of thing. This must be remarkable technology if it can upload our consciousness into a computer. Do you even have a consciousness to send off to the virtual world, Keyboy? You're a robot! Your tin head can only mimic a human's emotions through a mechanized process. Don't <laughs> not really understand. We all gonna sleep and have a dream? That possible? 
than everybody dreams. You know... Can you really just separate your consciousness from your body like that? We're not just objects, you know? So it separates the consciousness from the body, if that's possible. No, it's nothing. I thought something was different about this room. It has all these night these chairs in here now. They probably brought them in since it'll be like our bodies are sleeping. That was uncharacteristically thoughtful of you. <laughs> I'm totally down to go to the virtual world. It seems interesting. Um, who made the virtual world? Is it Monokuma? Because he showed up? Oh, and the Monocubs as well? You can really do anything! Which one is my daddy? This is getting worse and worse. Keyboy being Monotaro's dad? I use a certain program as a template to create the virtual world. And that program is the killing game simulator. Oh, okay, so no. Well, with that, I made my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. I said wait! If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for sure. I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. Then there's no need to worry, it's just a simulator, right? No, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Daddy's right. Whose side are you on? I'm not your daddy. You. How cruel. Why not accept him as your child for now? For now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. You guys are only crapping because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so freaking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But... but it's a world that Monokuma created, right? If you don't want to dive in, you can just dip the tip. By the way. But you just said you pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything, right, Miyu? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, right? Okay. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Mommy. That's what a good mommy would do. Yes. What? How exciting! Why? Why are you on Miu's side? Uh, I'm not taking your side, but it's like I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. Hmm. Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in, <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world. Uh, um. <laughs> Did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Huh? Of course I have! This is the first I've heard of this. Okay. Yes. Mommy's hearing us for the first time. Why are you going along with this? Yeah. Yeah. Like Kokichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Yeah. All I can tell you about the secret is that you get your hands on it. Yeah. You'll instantly learn what's happening outside of the academy. It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be right. Do you think it has to do with those meteorites? Is your curiosity peak? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? We want to know, so we'll definitely go. Kokiki, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world? Don't joke around like that, it's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find some info on the outside world. Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to the killing game. Gonza will go. Gonza will go to this virtual world place. You can't! You can't! It's probably a trap set by Monokuma. But if there's even a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. Mm. Are you still talking about your inner voice? We're already sick of that obsolete stuff. Closely. As I mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I've always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. That's why I'm going to go to the virtual world. All right. We're all gonna do this? Got it. 
This seeker of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this world out. Call it a man's curiosity. It's at it again. Shut up! When a man loses curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. I, don't care. Huh? I guess I'll be an idiot too? Oh my god, we're all doing this? We've been in danger for a while now. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth, so I can't run away from this. You're right. You can't. But why? It's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Mm. Being left behind will just make me worry. Okay. Everyone except Sumugi. Stop. <laughs> um. Are you planning something? <laughs> of course not. After Kaito punched me, I became a changed man. <laughs> I don't believe you. That being said. Slugs. Each of you gotta grab a helmet and plant your head into one of the seats. I understand. With Miyu instructing us, we got in position to and around the computer. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Just don't shut them into the wrong hole! And yes, that is what she said. Okay, fine. If she said so. So then, which cords to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable, maybe you'll body swap with someone, who knows? Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If you stay calm, then there won't be any problems. Okay, so I hold my chopstick in my right hand, so... Calm down, Himiko. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Then you just gotta put the helmet on with your head. <laughs> Finally press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the real world where there's no murder and no Monokuma. So then Gonta's gotta press button avatar person take Gonta to virtual world place. Whatever makes sense to you. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, Compared to your current looks, they're a major improvement. Congrats, Himigo. You don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. I never want a plastic surgery. I like my face. I'm so nervous about this. Shut Just shut up and do it already. Got it. We can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. All right. See ya. I place the helmet on my head and after a deep breath, turn on the switch. And then... In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. Uh, um, hmm. So this is the virtual world. It seems like it's completely different from what we were told. These graphics are really disappointing. How is this supposed to be better than the real world? These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought you liked your face. 
I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. So you were hoping for a change, Kibo? But you know. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like I can move my own body. And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? I want to go back? Wait. That was quick. So, this is the virtual world. I see. I see. Why'd you just kick him? I felt genuine pain just now. That's pretty impressive. You felt pain. That means our senses are connected. Got a minute? This place is so great. I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? Actually... This is totally different from what you said. Plus, his avatar has disappointing graphics. <laughs> That's hilarious! Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look a billion times better now. Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Um, but... It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Please stop. No can do. Even if they're avatars, I can never hit a person. That's robophobic. I can't escape your robophobia. <sighs> ah. When your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets those signals as if it experienced that sensory input for real. So, so even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses because uh, of those signals. Oh, I see. And since it won't have any bruises, you can hit all you want. Dear. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird. Why are bodies like this? Is this Himiko's magic? Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Gonta. Uh, um, so how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know, we don't even know where to start looking. That's right. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map available? Yeah, I've got a map, but first, I gotta give you a quick warning about this world. I'm pretty quick on the draw, but not too quick, because then you can't pull out in time. I wonder what the rules for this place could be. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So this is the virtual world. But how we even get here? Gonta not feeling anyone pick him up. And we got here so fast. It's like Sumugi said, you don't have to worry. Hmm. I never thought it'd be possible to link our real world senses with our avatars. What? And I never thought a robot had a consciousness to begin with. Oh, and I thought you would say that. Whoa, I run so fast! I'm zooming! I honestly thought it'd be more like an MMO, but if our senses are connected, then that means it's just another reality. Jeez. On top of the graphics and our senses, now there are even more warnings. This really is a fraud. Hmm. Information from our five senses here is sent to our real bodies, but it seems like information from our real bodies isn't sent to our consciousness here. If that's the case, then it's fine, but... It's fine, but what? Hey. Hurry up with this conversation. I want to find the secret of the outside world and head back to the real world already. The graphics here. There are old school games with better graphics than this. Yeah, it's true. If they were gonna go retro, they should have gone all the way and had to be had it to be all blocky. Oh, so like Minecraft. Uh, um... So what do you have to tell us? Sure. It's not a big deal, but there's a special rule to this world. Objects here are unbreakable. Huh? In the virtual world, there are no rules that govern whether objects can break. So any object, no matter what it is, can never be broken. For example, if you stretch a rubber band for far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know? But here, the rubber band would stop stretching at a certain point and not tear, and not just tear at all. For, some, for the same reason, your avatars can't get injured. You'll still feel pain, though. Hey! What are you talking about? That's a really big deal. You gotta tell stuff like that before. But that's the only special thing in every other sense. The physics here are the same. Don't lie. Hey. 
What's this? What's special about the avatar? Um, to make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world has the same average physical strength. Means. Does that mean there is no discernible difference in our physical abilities? So in this virtual world, I'm just I'm just as strong as Galta. No way. Galta weaker? That also comes of Himiko's magic. That's not good. If Galta not strong, Galta no can protect everyone. It's my fault. That's just how the world this world um, is. Are those the only things different about this world, Mia? Yeah, that's everything. By the way, how do we log out from this world? Oh yeah, that's right, I need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use that phone over there. Just pick it up and say your name. That's simple enough for you crapheads. Also, that phone is fixed and can't be removed from the room. Which means you have to use this room to log in and out. Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. You get it? You guys better not cheat by locking out alone. We have to find the secret of the outside world. The map is posted on the wall outside of this room. Follow me. Okay. Dude, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, I can use the... So, I probably shouldn't log out right now.